This is Kate Cunow, the Associate Curator of Collections and Exhibitions at the CRMA. Um, and today, because unfortunately we can't welcome visitors into the museum, I wanted to talk about some of my favorite pieces from across the Atlantic, American Impressionism Through the French Lens. Um, I am standing beside my favorite piece in this exhibition. Um, it is on what I've been calling our winter wall. One of the main differences between American and French Impressionism is that American Impressionists did a lot more winter scenes. Um, so because we have this exhibition on loan from the Reading Museum in Reading, Pennsylvania, which experiences a temperate climate just like we do, uh, they collected a lot of Impressionist winter scenes, which I think is really wonderful. And so I'm standing by my favorite, which is Edward Redfield's Foothills of the Blue Ridge from around 1908. Um, American Impressionists really adopted all of the tenets of Impressionism from France. Um, all of the ones you're thinking of, they used really big brush strokes full of paint. They worked very quickly. Um, they really believed that it was important to work out of doors, directly from nature, and they were trying to record these really fleeting aspects of light and atmosphere. Um, and Redfield is really devoted to that. He, perhaps more than other artists, was very devoted to this idea of immediacy and wanting to finish a painting in one go all at one time. Um, and this led him to do some interesting things like strapping his canvases to trees on particularly breezy days um, or standing in knee-deep snow as he did to create this. Uh, if you look a little bit more closely, you can see there's a lot of texture in this. Redfield is particularly well known for using long brush strokes with a ton of paint on them. And then what he's done in this work is go back in with the butt of the brush and scrape texture out. So we can really see all of these different grasses that are kind of popping up from underneath the snow, the texture of the stone creating this house, the slate on the roof, the flow of the river as it goes through the middle ground. Uh, so he's used all of these techniques and the fact that he is using a lot of paints to create a texture and a depth to his work that otherwise wouldn't be there. Uh, but this is my favorite one. I particularly love this really beautiful line of purple that we see in the receding hills and the delicacy of these tree branches as they disappear into the winter light. Um, and it definitely wasn't a painting that I liked when I saw it as a tiny little digital image when we were first looking at this show. Uh, but there is so much to seeing art in person and getting to be up close to it that really makes you appreciate it. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed this painting as much as I do. Thank you.